What's up guys, Shiny Enter Zach here back with another TCG pack opening video. Today I am on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online and I am going to be opening up a bunch of these packs that I have here and I've been saving them since pretty much Breakpoint and Breakthrough came out and I think in this video I'm just going to open up all of the packs that I have that aren't XY Breakpoint and then I'll put all of those packs into its own video because I have 85 packs of Breakpoint and just a smattering of other sets and stuff to open up in this video. So I'm just going to kind of go in a random order in terms of set. I guess I'll start off with these four XY Phantom Forces packs and we'll just uh, see where it goes from here. But I'm very excited to finally get to open all these packs. I've had them sitting here for a very long time. And I'll just kind of go through what each of the rares are as we go along. Like there we got a regular rare Honchkrow, which uh may have some significance to you guys if you've seen my uh, Pokemon Rap Tag video. So here we have a rare reverse, that's what that means when the reverse is turned over like that. And it is a Jellicent, and then our actual rare is a Pachirisu. But we got some pretty good trainers, we got like Target Whistle and Professor Sycamore, so that's good. Next up, I'm gonna have a sip of this Bolthouse Farm uh, stone fruit thing that I always get. Mm. Rare is a Slurpuff Hollow. That actually saw a fair amount of play with Seismitoady X because of its ability where you can draw a card and if this Pokemon is your active, you can draw one more and that's every turn. So in this pack, we're going to have three trainers again as well as a rare reverse, which is a Spiritomb. And then our rare is a Chandelure Hollow, which I don't think ever saw any play, but that's kind of ironic. The Lampent from Phantom Forces saw more play than the Hollow Chandelure that evolved uh, after it. So that was all of the Phantom Forces I have. Let's move on to Furious Fists. One of these is locked to my account, which is I think the one I'm opening right now. Sometimes you get packs that are locked to your account as like login rewards and stuff, so that's what that means. We have a Reverse Rare Pangoro, and a regular Rare Pangoro, okay. So no EXs or any forwards or anything just yet. We've just started though, so I'm not worried at all. We have a rare Tyrantrum here. I've always hated this Machoke artwork, it just looks so weird. Like, I think it's supposed to be a waterfall, but it just... The water doesn't look like water, really. Alright, we have another rare reverse, which is a Flygon. Which has pretty cool artwork, and then my rare... There we go! We got a full art! We got a full art Battle Reporter, so... Not a very often used card. It, it says draw cards until you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, but... It could be kind of useful with something like Glalie EX that does damage, uh, more damage based on if you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, so that is one possibility. We have another pack here with three trainers, that Fighting Stadium and that Scoop Up are really good. My Reverse Rare is a Halucha. This thing has seen play pretty much since it came out. It's an insanely good card, free retreat cost, uh, a lot of damage for just one energy, so that's excellent to pull, and then a Leafeon. But I'm, uh, I'm much more excited about the Holucha there. This one's going to have no rare reverse, but we do have a Hariyama rare, which I don't believe has ever seen play. Whoops! I didn't mean to click on get more. I have plenty of packs game. Thank you very much. I have tons and tons of packs. Let's go on to Roaring Skies. Why not? We have a bunch of packs of that. We have 12. Maybe that that's enough to get me a Shaman EX. That would be amazing. Talk about cards that have seen play since they came out. That thing has been in pretty much every meta deck. So we have a rare reverse here, which is a Deoxys that looks really cool. I think this was one of the pack arts in this set, if I'm not mistaken. And then my rare. Ooh, it's not a Shaman, but it's a very nice looking card. So both of the ultra rares we've gotten so far have been full art trainers. This one's a full art Wally. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and uh, put it onto that Pokemon. So basically you're evolving for free. And... I can't remember if that said it includes the X's or doesn't. I'll go, I'll go back and look at it later. Yep, there's a Wally. It says uh, excluding Pokemon EX, so you can't uh, do Mega Evolutions with that. We have a Rare Reverse here that is a Shedinja. I think people have tried this out before, but I haven't seen it uh, be too successful. And then we have a Rare Skarmory. So, no sign of Shaman yet. We haven't even gotten an actual EX yet. We've just gotten Full Art Trainers. We have a Klefki there with Look for Keys. I mean, it doesn't have to look far. It's basically a set of keys in itself, so. 
That's cute, suave blue art. Look at that. It's it's just like a little... It's a ball, basically. It, that's not even a head or a body. It's just like a ball. We have a reverse Steven and a rare Articuno. I think the other Articuno from this set, the Ancient Trait one, has seen some play as like a one of. We have a lot of dragons in this pack, and then we have a rare Swellow. I think we had a Taylor in that pack as well, so we got the full evolution line in one pack. We have a rare reverse. Look at this Inke shooting ink uh, onto the Meowth and then stealing whatever berry this is. We have a reverse Unpheasant and a rare Zatu, so lots of birds in this pack. Or I guess just lots of bird rares. We didn't really get any other birds besides that. We have another Wally, another rare reverse. This one's another Skarmory. And then a rare Zatu. So, man, we're just getting a lot of birds now, now that I've said that. Or maybe I'm just noticing all the birds. I don't know. We have Skyfield. That's a really good trainer. Each player can have eight Pokemon on his or her bench. That allows for a lot of cool strategies. We have another rare reverse, which is a Carbink. And then a rare Dragonite, which is just a normal rare. Dragonite's often a hollow, but not in that case. Mm -mm -mm. That's really good. Reverse Trainer's Mail. This card is seeing a ton of play. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card you find there and put it into your hand. And it's an item card, so you can use as many of those as you have available to you per turn. And then my rare is a Zapdos, so shout out to Zapdos Pants Off for that. I don't know how many packs we have left of Roaring Skies, but it's not looking too good for a Shaman. We have a very Causes Spirit Link there, and our rare is a Beautify. This is our second to last one for Roaring Skies, so we have two more chances to get that beautiful Shaman EX. Another rare reverse though, we're doing well in that regard, which is a Klefki, and then our rare is an Absol, so I know Mac will be happy about that, because that's his favorite Pokemon. And that's also a Hollow, I believe, so that's pretty cool. But still no Pokemon EX at all. We've gotten two Full Art Trainers, though. We got an Ultra Ball as well. That's always good to have. And then our last rare from Roaring Skies is a Dustox. So, unfortunately, no Shaman. Uh, let's go to X and Y now. We only have three packs of that. And that is the oldest set that is still currently in our standard format right now. We have two energy there. We have a dark and a fire energy. Our rare reverse is a Furfru, which is normally a hollow. And then our actual rare is a Wigglytuff. So two packs left of this stuff that I'd want to get out of here is mostly like Eveltal EX and the baby Eveltal. We got a dark and a lightning energy. And then our rare is another, come on, another Wigglytuff. <laughs> I think there's two Wigglytuff in this set, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure there are two. Okay. Our rare is a semi stage. So, XY base set was a complete dud. Let's go to uh, Primal Clash. This has some decent cards in it, like Groudon, Primal Groudon, which is still pretty good. I think it was better a little bit ago. There's a Groudon Spirit Link in reverse, so that's kind of nice. And then a Macargo rare. So, we have the. Rare Macargo and then the Uncommon Macargo in the same pack. But Primal Groudon decks have been still doing okay, just not as well as they have been in the past. We have a rare Tentacruel there with Dancing Tentacles, kind of a weird attack name, as well as a Wonder Energy Reverse. I haven't seen too many of the special energy that they've incorporated lately getting played very much. The only special energy I ever really see is Double Carless and then sometimes Double Dragon Energy. I might be forgetting some though. Nothing really there. I can't believe we haven't gotten a single just of any EX, just any EX at all. Oh, and right as I say that. So I guess that's all I had to do was ask for one. We have a full art camera up DX. That looks really nice. I remember some people when this first came out and when Double Crisis came out saying that they wanted to combine this camera up with the camera up that is in that set, the Team Magma's camera up because it can accelerate fire energy from the discard pile, and then you can use Explosive Jet on this Pokemon to do, I believe, 200 damage if you have four fire energy attached to it. So, kind of a cool idea. Never really took off, if I remember correctly, but still pretty cool. We have three trainers again. Teammates is really good. You can search a deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Uh, if your opponent had knocked out one of your Pokemon last turn, and then Escape Rope, of course, each player switches uh, their active Pokemon with a Pokemon on the bench. 
We have a reverse Whizcash and a rare Macargo, so both of those are rares. Let's see what else we can get here. We have Soul Rock, Sun and Moon confirmed, as well as Archie's Ace in the Hole, a really good card there. You can play it only when you have one card in your hand, which is Arch Archie's Ace in the Hole, and it allows you to put any water Pokemon, including like a Stage 2 or a Mega, I believe. I, th I know for a fact Stage 2. From your discard pile onto your bench, and then you can draw five cards, but I'm pretty sure you can do Megas and Primals as well. And look at that! There's an EX right there. We have a Grout on EX, so that's actually really nice to get. This is my third one. They also made this into a tin promo as well, so it's, it's a little easier to get now, but still, Primal Groudon is a pretty fun deck to play if you can get all of the pieces. Here we have a Silent Lab. Each basic Pokemon in play in each player's hand and in each player's discard pile has no abilities. And then we have a Reverse Delcaddy and a rare Full Art Charpedo. That's pretty nice. Don't recall this really ever being in a deck, but it's still kind of cool. I love the artwork on it. It's got 170 HP, 1 retreat cost, Jagged Fang does 100, and you discard an energy attached to both uh, Sharpedo and the opponent's active Pokemon. So that is kind of cool. It just doesn't do enough damage. Let's see here. So we've had good luck with Primal Clash. There's a creepy looking Probo Pass. Look at that. Ugh. Probo Pass has always seemed kind of creepy to me. I don't know why. We've gotten a lot of Soul Rock too. Maybe I'm just noticing it. Rare Candy, of course, has been around for a long time, allowing you to evolve one of your basic Pokemon into a Stage 2 without needing the Stage 1. We have another Tentacruel there as our rare. And this is our second to last pack of Primal Clash. Hmm. We have three, no, we have two trainers, uh, a Scorched Earth and a Calgary Spirit Link. We have a Reverse Rare Probo Pass, and a Rare Metacham. This Metacham actually is kind of cool. It can attack twice in one turn. It says if this Pokemon, uh, if the first attack, I should say, knocks out your opponent's active Pokemon, you may attack again after your opponent chooses a new active. So basically it can attack twice, and with all of the different ways to... Uh, improve the amount of damage fighting type Pokemon especially can do, like Strong Energy and the Fighting Fury Belt now, and it, it basically lets you do tons of damage because you're going to attack twice in a turn. Alright, next pack here, I think this is like I said the last one for Primal Clash. Three trainers again, including Repeat Ball and Freshwater Set, and then our rare is a Ninetales, so that's kind of decent actually. A Barrier Shrine, each player can't play any Stadium cards from his or her hand. That basically stops things like a Silent Lab, Skyfield, stuff like that from being put into play, which a lot of decks revolve around having Stadiums at their disposal, so that can be a really good tool. Let's see what we have left. We have Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, we have this Tin thing, which I'll probably open up next, and then 12 Packs of Generations, which is really cool. So... In this Gyarados tin, we get a Gyarados deck box, we get a bunch of water Pokemon, a bunch of water energy, and we get some new cards as well, as well as two copies of the uh, Shiny Gyarados, which is the tin promo, so that's pretty cool. I don't know, I just had that in my pack section and thought I would open it, so let's go on to Ancient Origins. We have 15 packs of Ancient Origins. That is pretty crazy. Let's see. We have an unknown. That's actually seen some play. And what's seen even more play is this Vespaquin here. 90 HP, free retreat cost. B Revenge is the attack that is basically its fame. It does 20 damage for two colorless energy, and it does 10 more damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Some people have paired it with Night March, others have just played Vespaquin with other cards. It's reminiscent of the Flareon that did the same thing with a different attack name, but it's been doing really well lately. Our rare here is an EX, actually. It's an Amphros EX, which I don't believe has been seen in play competitively, but it looks pretty nice. Thunder Rod, look at the top four cards of your deck and attach as many Lightning Energy you find there as you can. Uh, that, uh, I think that would be pretty fun in a uh, pre-release setting. And then we have Sparkling Tail for 100 uh, it costs 4 energy, and it isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects. Next up... Let's see... We have a Gardevoir. 
Uh, when this set came out, I always said that this Gardevoir looks shiny, and I still stand by that. It looks very, very blue as opposed to its normal green. I think the artist may have made it shiny. I don't know about if it was on accident or on purpose, but I guess I'll never know. There's another Vespaquin in the set, but it hasn't seen nearly enough play despite being a rare and the other one being an uncommon, so that's kind of funny. Next pack up here, we have... A Lysander, which is an incredibly useful card. This is basically Pokemon Catcher in its old form. You don't have to flip for it, but now it's a supporter. You can switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active. We have a Reverse Rare Golurk, which is an ancient trait. And then a Regice, which has seen a little bit of play as well, because Resist uh, Resistance Blizzard allows you to prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. So it stops a lot of EX decks cold if they don't have a way to get around that. Next up here we have another Vespaquin that's really good, Lava Ball. You can get a Pokemon with 90 HP or less for free, including Vespaquin. We have a Reverse Gyarados, which is normally a Hollow, and then a Rare Vileplume, which has definitely seen play. Each player can't play any item cards from his or her hand, that's the ability, and I think this thing has been paired a lot with Giratina EX, which stops your opponent from playing other trainers as well so that is a potent combination there pretty good card even though it affects you as well we have an area dose which uh, poisons both active pokemon once per turn if you want to and then we have a rare golurk which i believe we've already pulled moving on we have another unknown we have an ace trainer we have a faded town anytime between turns, put two damage counters on each Mega Evolved Pokemon. And then we have a rare Golurk. We're getting tons of that Golurk, man. That is crazy. And we're seeing a lot of unknown too, even though it's an uncommon, or a common, I mean. We have Lava Ball there, we have a Flareon, and then a Metagross. This Flareon's kind of cool. Each of your Stage 1 Pokemon in play is now a Fire Pokemon in addition to its existing type. So you can add a type onto each of your stage one Pokemon with Flareon's ability. There's a similar Vaporeon and Jolteon that have water and lightning respectively, but basically the same ability. We have another Vespaquin and a rare Entei. I believe one of the two Entei from the set has seen a little bit of play. I can't remember if it's that one or the Ancient Trait one. It might be both actually. There's another Lysander and a rare Hollow Entei, which is this one uh, might be the one I was talking about. This Pokemon can have up to two Pokemon tool cards attached to it at, uh, at a time. Flame Screen does 30 damage for two energy and during your opponent's next turn, any damage done to this Pokemon is reduced by 30. And then Heat Tackle does 130 for four. Flip a coin of tails, this Pokemon does 30 to itself. So I'm, I don't remember if it's that one or the, the regular non-ancient trade in Hmm. All right, so. We have Forest of Giant Plants. Each player's grass Pokemon can evolve during his or her first turn or on the turn that they were played down. And that's an incredibly good strategy. Hasn't seen too much use lately. And there's another Golurk. That's probably our fourth Golurk that we've seen so far. This might be our last pack of Ancient Origins. But we've gotten some decent stuff. We've gotten some Lysanders. We have a Reverse Rare Vespaquin and a Rare Gudra Hollow, which I... Oh, it's not our last one. I pulled a ton of this Gudra, probably 10 or more when I opened Ancient Origins. I pulled way more of that Hollow than any, uh, than any other Hollow in that set, by like 6 or 7. We have a rare Porygon Z here, just a normal rare, but I like that artwork a ton. I don't know where it is, but it's in a really cool location. And then next up here, we have a Sceptile Spirit Link and an Ampho Spirit Link. And then our rare is a Clay Doll, which I don't believe saw much play with Rewind and a Hyper Beam. We have Ace Trainer. You can play it only if you have more prize cards left than your opponent. Each player shuffles his or her hand into his or her deck. Then you draw six cards and they draw three. So it relies on you losing, but you can bring your opponent's hand down to three and yours up to six if you... Uh, play it down, but that was the end of Ancient Origins. We have Breakthrough and uh, Generations. I'm gonna save Generations for last. We have a ton of Breakthrough to get to and then I will do 
all of the breakpoint in another video. If you've stuck with me for this long, this video's been pretty long by now. I can't, I'm not sure how long it's been, but thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching me open these packs here. Our first pack is gonna have a rare Vivalon, which is pretty cool, I believe. Not this Vivalon, but another Hollow Vivalon was printed with the different uh, wing colors and wing patterns, depending on what region that the packs were made in and what language they were made in. So, uh, just like in the games, the Vivalon looked different depending on the region, which I thought was a pretty cool touch. There's three chessmen in this set, if I remember correctly. And then we have a Simiseer, which I definitely don't like. We have Panseer and Simiseer in the same pack. We also have a Drunk to Den, which is pretty nice. The Forest Amigos are in this set, including Chespin. We have a Buddy Buddy Rescue, which, uh, this was actually the only card I've ever, uh, scanned and sent to. I believe it was Bulbapedia, uh, and it was, like, the first scan of that card that they ever got. So I thought that was pretty cool. I just got one of those out of a, a box, and they hadn't seen it before, I don't believe. I think when it, when this, when the scan linked, leaked of it, I think people thought it was Dual Ball and not Buddy Buddy Rescue, which Dual Ball was an older card that actually saw some play. Here we have a Chestnut with Adamantine Press and Spike Lariat. This is a hollow. Floatstone's a really good card. This actually got reprinted, but with different artwork. And the Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost, which is really good. Let's move on now to another pack. We have a Teddy Ursa, uh, a Torture Teddy Ursa, I, sh uh, I should say, and then we have a Forest Amigo Chespin there. Our rare is a Zoroark Hollow, and this is a really good card. Stand In is basically Keldeo EX's ability, uh, but called something different. You can basically put it from your bench into the active position once per turn without having to pay a retreat cost or anything on your active Pokemon, and then Mind Jack was an attack that was on an old Plasma Absol card, but it's been tweaked a little bit. The old one did 20 plus 20, and this one does 10 plus 30 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon for just a double colorless energy. Next up here we have a cozy little Swablu, we have a Haunter, a Drunk to Den in reverse, and a rare. Oh my god! Finally something uh, very, very nice here. We have a secret rare. Mewtwo. There's actually two secret rare Mewtwo's in the set. This is the one with Photon Wave and Cyburn, but there's also one with Shattershot that has a red background. But this looks awesome. A nice secret rare pull here. 163 out of 162. I can't tell how well you guys can see that, but 163 out of 162. And that was a fantastic pack. Finally a secret rare after all these packs we've opened. We have an Earth Ring. We have a Rainbow Energy, which is really good. It, provi it provides Basically any type of energy you want, but when you put it down on the Pokemon you attach it to, you have to put one damage counter on that Pokemon. And then we have a Haxorus Hollow with three attacks, Dragon Dance, Sharp Fang, and Dragon Pulse. Next up here, let's see what we have. We have another chest pin, we have a town map which got reprinted. You turn all of your prize cards face up for the remainder of the game. And our rare is another Noivern. Oh man, let's see if we can get another EX or Secret Rare here. We have a Fisherman. You can put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. And then we have another Drunk to Den. Our Rare is a Chatot, which I don't think should have been a Rare. Like, if you look at this card, nothing seems rare about it. It has 70 HP, which is mediocre for a basic. It has Sing, which puts your, opponent active, your opponent's active Pokemon to sleep. And then Aerial Ace does 10 plus 30 damage if you hit heads on a coin flip. That doesn't seem very rare to me. That seems common or uncommon at best. Here we have a Reverse Stunfisk, which is actually a pretty decent card. It's not terrible. It has Revenge, which does 20 and then 80 more damage if your opponent knocked one of your Pokemon out last turn. And then our rare is an EX here. We have a Mega Houndoom EX. People, I think, have actually played the regular Houndoom EX more than the Mega. They've, they've put the, me the Mega Houndoom uh, aside, pretty much, in favor of the regular Houndoom, because I think the regular Houndoom can mill your opponent's deck, can make them run out of cards. But that's still a pretty cool card to get. And let's move on here. We have a Pikachu, a Snorlax, a Reverse Pinsir, which Pinsir is an amazing Pokemon, and oh 
my gosh, we have a farm Mewtwo. This is the same one that we just got in Secret Rare. This is actually my first one though, my first fart uh, Mewtwo of this kind. So we've got a Secret Rare one of this and the Full Art one of this. That's pretty sweet. I'm not sure. I definitely didn't have the Full Art. I'm pretty sure I didn't have the Secret Rare either. So that's pretty successful. We have a Reverse Parallel City, which is cool because the whole trainer on this card is Foil. And then we have a Rare Simi Seer, which is pretty gross. All right, let's see. We have a Breaks In, which is in Pokémon Tournament. Our rare is a Braviary, which I don't think I've pulled today. I don't think it's seen much play either. And then right after that, we get a Baby Rufflet. We have a Fisherman, Ink Reverse, and then our rare is a Dodrio, which also has not seen any play, if I remember correctly. Mm. We have a Skywa, which got reprinted in the set, allowing you to search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. This card was huge, especially when it came out in Boundaries Crossed. Mewtwo Spirit Link Reverse, and then our rare is a Raichu. The Raichu isn't very good, but there is a Raichu break in this set, which is not great, but decent. We have Judge here, which allows both players to shuffle their hand into their deck and draw four cards. Again, good for Pokemon like Glalie EX that do damage based on how many, uh, or whether you and your opponent have the same number of cards in your hand. We have our first break here, which is a Chestnut break, which does 160 damage for 4 energy. And then our rare is a Smeargle, which actually has seen some play here. Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch a basic energy card attached to your active Pokemon with a different type of basic energy that's in your discard pile, so that's kind of handy. In decks like the new ho EX that use a lot of different types of basic energy. We have Reverse Bridget, and our rare is a Simipore. That's pretty gross. We have two, uh, two of the Elemental Monkeys in one pack. All right, let's see here. Buddy Buddy Rescue, another Reverse Parallel City, which is cool. And then our rare... Whoa! What the heck? We got two of these. We got two of the same Secret Rare Mewtwo in, what, 20, 22 packs of XY Breakthrough? That's pretty awesome. So we went from no secret rares at all to two of the same secret rare in a very short amount of time. That is amazing. I'm super pumped about that. I'm super glad. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that one might be used in the Mega Mewtwo Y deck, but I can't remember. We have a Professor's Letter, which allows you to search your deck for two basic energy cards and put them into your hand. And then our rare is an Aromatisse. Not nearly as useful as the Hollow Aromatisse that's an XY base set, I believe. We have another Skyla, and our rare is a Mr. Mime, so shout out to Pokemon Excavation there. Alright, we have a Mewtwo Spirit Link. This might be a break here. It is! It's a Marowak break. 20 damage, Bone Revenge, uh, 40 more damage for each prize card that your opponent has taken, which can be a lot. Obviously, if they've taken 5 prizes, that does 200 plus 20, so 220 damage. Actually, if they've taken 4, it does... Um, 180 total, which is enough to knock out most regular EXs. I don't think it's seen that much play, though, unfortunately. We have Heavy Boots, which has also not seen any play. If the retreat cost of this Pokemon is 3 or more, it gets plus 20 HP and can't be confused. It's just way worse than Fighting Fury Belt, which gives it plus 40 HP no matter what, and plus 10 uh, attack on its... plus 10 damage on its attacks, so... It's... Like, this card is just mute. It's null and it's, it's moot. I mean, not mute. It's moot. It's null and void. I mean, it's mute, too. It, it's a card. It can't talk, so I don't know. We have a Drunk to Den there. A Chest Not Break again, which is our second one of this opening, and my fourth overall. And then my rare. Oh, look at that! We got we got the complete set. We got the regular Mewtwo EX with Photon, Photon Wave. We got the full art one with Photon Wave and the Secret Rare. We got two of the Secret Rare with Photon Wave. So I could play uh, a deck with four of this Mewtwo. But we also got a break and an EX in the same pack. Whoops. I didn't realize that was my last pack. That's some last pack magic right there for XY Breakthrough. And that's about it except for the Generations packs, which I'm really excited to open up. These are my first ones, I believe, on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I'm looking for 
Jolteon EX, Charizard EX, and Mega Charizard EX uh, specifically, but I'm looking for just some of the cool Pokecoon cards as well because they look nice. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Obviously, all these are new for me. Imakuni, which is a very old card that they reprinted. It's sort of a uh, confusing card. Your active Pokemon is now confused. Like, why would you play that under normal circumstances? We also have Floral Crown, which is a new trainer. At the end of your opponent's turn, heal 20 damage from the basic Pokemon this card is attached to. We have, ooh, yes, we have a Gardevoir EX. So this is from Pokecune. I believe they're calling it Radiant Collection again in English. So that's what the reverse will be, is a Radiant Collection slash Pokecune card. But this is a nice Gardevoir EX. And then our rare is a Snorlax. So this will be really fun. I'm glad I saved this for last. So we have these new energies. I mean, they're the basic energies, but they have a different background. And they can also be reverse in the set. So people are trying to collect this set for that reason. Crushing Hammer also got reprinted, which allows you to discard an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon if you hit heads on a coin flip. And then we have our Radiant Collection card, which, ooh, yes, another EX. We have a Flareon. So this has a full art, but this is the regular version. This has actually been very, very recently in a few top cuts, I believe, at tournaments. So Flash Fire, once during your turn, you may move a Fire Energy from one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. Uh, only once per turn, and then Blaze Ball is like Kelio EX's Secret Sword, but with Fire Energy. It does 50 for 3, and 20 more for each Fire Energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you're if you're 3 Energy or Fire Energy, you're doing 110 right off the bat. And then my rare is a Dugtrio, which is a reprint. Even the same artwork and stuff from an early XY set. I think it might be Flash Fire. Mm. So the Radiant Collection card is not a rare this time. It's an Aveltal, which looks awesome. This is a reprint, I believe, of the one from XY Base Set, but this artwork I like a ton better. It looks awesome. And then our rare is a Ninetales EX, which I actually forgot was in this set. I completely forgot about this card. This is the only way to get this card in English right now. Flare bonus for one fire. You discard a fire energy from your hand, and you can draw three cards. Fire Blast does 130 for four, and if you hit Tails on a coin flip, you have to discard a fire, ener fire energy attached to that Pokemon. So we have a fire energy there. We have a metal energy. Oh my gosh, we have five energy in this pack, including a reverse dark energy, which I'm actually really excited about. I'm super glad to get a reverse energy. But that is a lot of energy. Our Radiant Collection card is a Wally, -E, and then our rare is a Parasect. So would normally be a bad pack, but the reverse uh, dark energy really makes it actually kind of good. Alright, so a lot of new cards here. Leave that to Den. That's our Radiant Collection card, by the way. We also have a reverse Zubat. And our rare is a Rapidash with some pretty awesome artwork. This reminds me of the Heartgold Soul Silver style of artwork. They don't really put too much of this kind of artwork in the newer sets, but I kind of like it. All right, let's see. We have another Wally, a Reverse Cloister, and a rare Mega Blastoise EX. That is awesome. So this is different from the Mega Blastoise that was in XY base set. This one does 180 for four with Dread Launcher. And if you hit Tails on the coin flip, you have to discard two water energy attached to this Pokemon. It also has 220 HP and a retreat cost of three. Hasn't seen play to my knowledge, but it looks really cool. We have at least two energy there. We have what's probably a full art or EX from Radiant Collection here. Yes, it is a full art Sylveon. And that is super cute with dress up and precious ribbon. And then our rare is another Snorlax. So that's a nice pull right there. This is our fifth to last pack in this entire opening. This has been a really long opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys like these longer openings or if you want to see maybe some smaller openings i didn't i don't think we had anything in that pack really i like this artwork a lot look at the gulpin and the kid are holding there they're doing like this to put the the fork right there and they go mm. we also have a uh clement right there which is new search your deck for up to four lightning energy reveal them and put them into your hand and then you shuffle your deck afterward 
Our Radiant Collection card is Meowstic, and our rare is a Tauros, which is super cool because this is the old, old artwork. This was uh, the super, super, like the first Tauros they ever printed, but they put it on this new card as well, which is really cool. So we have at least two energy there. This is a new card, Revitalizer. You put two Grass Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. This actually could benefit Virzi and Genesect, but I think actually Super Rod is probably better than this card. We also have a Radiant Collection Slurpuff there, eating some pancakes. And our rare is another Snorlax, so that's our third one, I believe. So second to last pack. Let's see what we can get. We have an Esper there, that's pretty cute. That's from Radiant Collection. We also have a Radiant Collection to Dene. And our rare is a Machamp, which I didn't even know was in the set, really. This is a reprint from Furious Fists, but it is a hollow, so that's kind of cool. We also got a Reverse Crushing Hammer, which is always nice. But this is our last pack for this opening. Uh, later, I will be back to open up the 80-something packs of XY Breakpoint that I've accumulated so far. That's actually less than I normally have because I only opened up one booster box. I say only, but I opened up one booster box instead of two of Breakpoint, but I'll be back with that very shortly. Our last rare, uh, we didn't get one in Rainy Collection, that's just an uncommon flow it, but our last rare from Generations is another Tauros. So that is going to do for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this very long opening. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at ShinyHunterZach for more content. And until next time, I will see you guys later.